I met Yasmina Tibitz in 2014 when she visited Montreal on a trip organized by the Slovenian consulate. This now strikes me as ironic as her work critically examines the instrumentalization of art and architecture for the purposes of nation building and state representation. After becoming more familiar with her methodology, I have come to marvel at how deftly she plays a double game. Tsibitsi's immersive approach involves film, installation, sculpture, photography, and performance to bring the apparatus of cultural production in service of the nation-state to our attention. With everything that you desire and nothing that you fear, created expressly for the Foundation's buildings and the Montreal context, the artist focuses on the former Yugoslavia and its political economic history as a lens through which to examine art and architecture as soft power and statecraft in an attempt to achieve the ultimate display for both international audiences and the country's own citizens. The center of our capital and the site of the building must become a great demonstration ground where the will of our people to fight and reconstruct can find expression. Tibitz makes conceptual use of the foundation's two very different buildings. The four-story building at 451 Saint-Jean has been reimagined as the residential dwelling of an unnamed collector who has accumulated souvenirs of government-endorsed visual identity of a now-defunct state. For the contrasting expansive gallery spaces at 465 Saint-Jean, Tibitz presents her film trilogy, Nada, as well as a performative installation that examines architecture, sculpture, music, and dance, all created in the service of national representation within key moments of European crisis in the 20th century. Among the new works made for this exhibition is An Atmosphere of Joyful Contemplation, this installation consists of two textile works that were inspired by the tapestries found in the Yugoslavian pavilion at Expo 67. The installation is further activated by two singers who perform a duet, whose lyrics are derived from speeches that express the importance of architecture for the affirmation of the state. Rigorous and seductive, the overall effect of her work is exemplary of what I like to call politicized sensuousness, whereby a stylistically sumptuous proposal bears socially and politically subversive teeth. Through a critical feminist unpacking of the complex entanglements of art, gender, and state power, with a dose of humor and a touch of the absurd, she encourages us to consider the strategies employed in the formation of national identity which is crucial at this time of increasing nationalist fervor around the world.